If, if we're not brought to the place where we want to become like him, if we're not brought to the place where, where, where we're able to look at the sin and God is able to talk to us about our sin, our, our flesh, our bad behavior, and we actually enjoy it, and we actually want to be like him, then you haven't seen him yet. You haven't encountered him yet. Maybe you sense him, but you haven't encountered him. And so let me tell you something. I know that encountering him is part of why the veil was torn to the most holy place. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil was torn to the most holy place, which means that his manifested glory, his manifested glory is part of our inheritance. So yes, I worship him by faith, but you better believe that I'm going to continue to go after him until I deeply encounter him. Because I will never forget what he has done. What he has done, it burns me for what he's going to do and what he can do. And I understand that people say, oh, but it doesn't matter. And, 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 you know, and, 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 I, and I agree that we're not supposed to strive for his acceptance. But not striving for his acceptance doesn't mean you don't pay a, pr a, a, a price for his presence. Not striving for his acceptance doesn't mean you don't pay a price for his presence. Remember the five wise virgins, they said, go buy your own oil, buy, it's a price, buy. And don't let people rob you of that because people wanna emphasize not striving so much. They wanna emphasize not striving so much that it makes people think like just being passive is what God has called us to do. Let me tell you something. Uh, I don't need a preaching to teach me to, 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 to call the person I'm in love with. I don't need a preaching to teach me to get on a bus, a train, a plane, or an automobile, or do what I got to do to be in the presence of somebody that I'm in love with. Listen, remember when we used to have crushes when we were, when we were younger? And you'll get on a bike. You'll borrow your sister's bike, bro. You'll borrow, you'll, 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 you'll walk five miles in the sun. So you could see that girl or so you could see that guy. And we're supposed to give God less? It's religion. It's religion to think that, 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 I, that I need to be passionate when I go after God. Oh, that's religion. But it isn't religion when we do it for a girl that we like. It isn't religion when we do it for a guy that we like. <clears throat> I'm not going to let anybody rob me. By the grace of God, I've experienced so much. I've experienced so much that I know what is waiting for me. And so people will tell you that. And then, and then, and then people will just get passive and, and, and calm and then, and then not encounter God. And oh, you, it doesn't always need to be about an encounter. I didn't say it was about an encounter. No, it doesn't need to be about an encounter, but an encounter is part of it. That's like saying like your marriage doesn't have to be about romance. It's not always romantic. It's not always candlelight dinners. I know it's not always romantic. But you best to believe that there's passion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. People, they want to come up with these things and they want to rob you. Listen, part of our inheritance is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. It's not just, and I'm not, I'm not preaching uh, just live on feelings. I'm preaching do things by faith because of what he already did. But if you're really doing it by faith and appreciation based on what he already did, it's going to lead towards a manifestation and something new that he's going to do. And this is what his word is teaching us. If you remember what he did, it's supposed to lead to something new that he's going to do. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead.